Good evening, dear. I'm Tarn Rose, and welcome back to Lost Impressions. I wake up to the sounds of birds chirping outside my window, surprisingly, that's different to the usual sound of rain or wind. The weather recently hasn't been anything special, however, by the sound of it, things seem to have changed. I get dressed and recall the events of last night again in my mind. I want to get closer to you, too. Did that really happen? The concept of it is so far beyond me that it seems like a dream. A quick look at my phone proves this theory otherwise. You have one new message. Sender A. Takahashi. I'm not surprised really. We apparently confessed to each other last night, albeit in the subtlest way possible. Opening the message, I read this contents on the screen. Meet me in the park at 11 o'clock. I want to see you. Going by the clock on the wall, I still have plenty of time. There's nothing else I'm planning on doing today anyway, so leaving early won't hurt. Expect when some other person is going to come again. The weather today is great, as just as I thought, perhaps reflecting my newfound attitude. Maybe it's just not me. It seems much more cheerful now, well, based upon the events of last night, anyway. I guess she would now that I recognize her as a childhood friend, even though I can hardly remember any of it. As I enter the park, I see someone familiar sitting on a bench. However, it's not who I was planning on meeting here. I knew that would happen. Jesus, you are always there. Go away. <laughs> Hello, Toshi. No, go away. I'm supposed to meet someone else here. You're always there when I'm meeting her. And it calls out to me as I walk over to her. I'm surprised to see her, Toshi. Do you have any business around this area? I just thought I'd take a walk around, considering the good weather today. Why are you lying? <laughs> oh, I see. We have some at Eastern. I'd rather not, t not tell Hannah about my meeting with A. I think it'd be best to keep it between us for now. It's still early, so I don't think I will be there for another hour. I really underestimated the time I would take to get her here. <laughs> so, how are things with A? She's doing well, I think. Honestly, after last night, I'm quite certain that she's feeling fine. That's good to hear. I'm glad she's starting to cheer, her, cheer up. <laughs> Me too. Hannah looks somewhat sad after I said that. Somewhat disappointed? No, it must be my imagination. She still stands before me, smiling as usual. That does, does, does not look li like that there. Well, I must be going now. I do hope you enjoy your walk. <laughs> you walk in the park, Toshi. Bye. Um, Hannah walks away, leaving me sitting on the bench alone. Should I have said goodbye? I said it, okay? I stay like this for a while and close my eyes, listening to the sound of nature, something I hardly ever get to do. I open my eyes and slightly panic. It seems that I have fallen asleep. It feels like I'm resting on something strange, something warm. What do you think you're doing, falling asleep in public like this? I look up and see a face looking down at me, one which I'm happy to see. Oh, it's you. Do you mean it's me? What, are you disappointed? No, actually, I'm glad. Honestly, I am. If I have her on the steep, I'm so stranger, that'd be quite embarrassing. In fact, it would be strange to if someone didn't, I didn't know would let me sleep on them. If it wasn't A, I'd be worried. A love, I'm glad she is happier now. The past month where she was down seems to fade into my into the back of my mind. <coughs> Hopefully things can be bad between us now. Maybe I'm no longer distant to her. A loth once more. Now get up. We're going into town and you better pay me back for that. By that she means don't blame me if I fall asleep on a train and use you as a pillow. We both leave the park and make our way to the train station. A glanced at me with a sweet expression I can only describe as shy. 
It's a cute face one I've never seen before and it reminds me of how strange it is to know someone yet so unfamiliar. On one hand, I get to start all over to memorize the cute pretty parts of A that the old me apparently never appreciated. On the other, the fr A in front of me is the only A I know. In the face of my newfound feelings, I feel oddly jealous, jealous of the old Toshi. Being <laughs> both the young child Toshi and the same old pre-accident Toshi, you know, sides of A that I have to learn about all over again. Sides of A that I'm sure she will also expect me to know. At least one thing I have to, neither of them got to know, is the shy, cheerful face of A, whose melancholic attitude was one of them I'm sure the old Toshi was well familiar with. More than being glad that I'm the person, I'm the one <laughs> that can make. More than being glad that I'm the one she can smile at like this, I'm glad that she can smile at all. Without worrying, I take her hand and squeeze it lightly. I look surprised. T Toshi? Just sorry, I just felt like it. I start to lose my hand. I really don't mean to, but I've started to compare myself to how the old Toshi would act and it makes me feel slightly self-conscious. We only started having feelings for each other recently, but it felt like I was competing with my own self. After all, A agreed to date me rather quickly. I couldn't help but wonder what if, a little if it was because she'd liked me before, the me I was before, I mean. I remember her surprised face when I took her hand. Maybe if old Toshi had dated A, he wouldn't have done that kind of thing, or maybe he would have. I must have started to frown because A stops looking at startled as before and starts ex unexpectedly smiling. Are you ready to go, Toshi? Her smile is pretty and strangely more relaxed than I've ever seen it. Right, uh, yeah, sorry to make you wait. Where do you want to go today? Me? You want me to choose? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could, but... I don't really remember the kinds of things you like, and I feel bad if, you know, I trail off thinking of her many times that made her sad. Fortunately, I don't have time to dwell on it too much because she seems to have decided, squeezing my hand lightly and pulling me behind her. It isn't until a few minutes later that I know where we are. A pipes up helpfully. We need to get the train to get there. Right. After taking a moment to purchase tickets, we take the stairs on the platform to wait for the, our train. I look at the platform notice board and get a clue to our destination, but before I can ask which train we are taking, A points out helpfully. We are taking the blue line. It comes in about 8 minutes, so we are okay in time. Looking for the blue line on the map, I realize that the train is one that goes into town with stops near a local shopping place. The word Minimo are labelled clearly with a small sticker and arrow that tell a sign that's a public stop. So you want to go shopping for something? A nods instead of responding. Why? A shrugs slightly before looking at me. There's a phone I wanted to look at. A phone, huh? That reminds me, she did say before that her phone screen had broke, the thought of that scared screen it reappears in my head. Hmm. I guess that's what we are doing then, after all I wouldn't want her cutting her fingers on something. What kind of phone were you after? One similar to the old one? Looking pleased, she starts to describe it, but it's cut off when the train's arrival. As a board, it suddenly occurs to me that if I really wanted to, I could try to get her a souvenir while we were out, a memento for our first date. The cost of a phone is a little steeper than my non-working student budget, so picking up her tab isn't an option. Still, I wonder what would be a good gift for her. Resolved, I decided to keep an eye for, for something, anything that would catch my, her eye. After a few seconds I glance at A, but she doesn't move to speak either. It's a little awkward, but A seems fine. Of course, my brain helpfully starts to wonder what the old Toshi would do, which makes me a little desperate to have some conversation. 
Ahams quietly to herself and I find myself unable to say anything at all. So, this is it. At least I've, I've, it seems vaguely familiar, but only in the way that everything else did. Like maybe I dreamt about it a long time ago as a child or something. It's possible too that my childhood's memories, as vague as they are, are only the only ones I can really grasp. So I've been here as a kid, makes sense for it to look familiar. I don't know though. I looks at me curiously as if to ask herself, but I only shake my head subtly in response. Surprisingly, her shoulders does, don't droop like I expect them to. She gives a little shrug instead. It's both surprisingly and relieving. I clear my throat mildly and excuse her just our fingers so that they intervene lightly. So, where to? It's on the second floor. She takes the lead, tugging me along effortlessly as I trail behind her like a lost puppy. Here we are. The phone shop is modern with the with white decor. It's kind of nice with futuristic vibe to it, just a little. Which one did you want? It makes a beeline for the window to point out the phone of choice. It's right. She tries off and for the lack of bad words wills. What is it? I'm not there anymore. Her shoulders are drop drooping st steadily with each word. Just like that, I realize more than anything how fragile and how important a smile is to me. Even her mild grip on my hand seems to loosen. I think it quickly, trying to decide what to do. Could uh, Yes, you could ask. Maybe the best thing is just to ask about it. After all, they could have just taken out of the window display, right? I mentioned this to A, who immediately seems to straighten, even if her melancholic expression doesn't change. Wait here, I'll go check. She nods again, her eyes starting back and forth as she looks at the other phones on display, as if checking whether or not she'd missed it. Hello? Hello, how can I help you? I wanted to ask about the phone that used to be in the window. My girlfriend said she was yours on display not that long ago. A display phone. We change our displays semi-regularly. So, can I ask you which one? My brain scrambles to remember what Aid told me about the phone before we bought it so, so and thankfully somehow I remember the name and relay it to the clerk who starts nodding almost immediately. Oh, that's a very popular phone. We sold our last one earlier in the week, but we just got uh, the shipment for the upgraded version, so we won't be carrying it on anymore. Would you like? Uh, would you girlfriend like to look at the upgrade? A thick bag of ice sparkling ice as she talked immediately about the phone and shake my head slowly at first, but then with that determination. Now I'm pretty sure that's the only one she wants. Mm, what a shame. I really don't think we can carry that model anymore. The sto store clerk looks thoughtful for a moment. Wait a second, let me just check the database and see if there's anything I can do for you. Alright, thanks. The clerk disappears into the back of the shop for a few minutes. Looking towards A through the window, she looks at me and tilts her head as if asking about my success. I gesture her for a common sight. So, what did they say? Well, you're in luck, woman. <laughs> you're in luck, young man. Oh, that must be the girlfriend. A blush, but doesn't say anything. Well, as I was saying, you're in luck. We have one last phone in stock. Turns out someone pre-ordered it and it passed to hold date, so I've been given the go-ahead to sell it. If you still want it, you can definitely purchase this one. I look at A curiously. Well, A? I'll take it. Alright, great. Follow me to this counter over here. I smell at the success of our trip. Even when we start making our way back to the station, I'm still smiling. Oh, Tashi? Huh? What is it? Um... I look strangely so shy. Your phone number? I dialed into the phone and saved the contact. I guess she forgot to bring her old one. You can call me and I'll have your, no your new number too. 
I nod at me, poking her new cell phone before making eye contact again. We smile at each other, not saying anything else on the way home. The, draw, the, the day draws close to an end as we leave the train station under, the, uh, under an orange sky. I really enjoyed the trip with A today, and by the looks of it, so did she. However, something did catch my eye. She seems awfully nervous. Common sense would tell me that's because we're dating now, but surely she wouldn't act any different than she would normally. We've been friends for years. Maybe I just don't know girls that well. Well, I do not, and I'm a girl myself, and I don't know girls. We approach our separate crossings and look to each other with our newfound passion. It still hurts me to think that there might be something wrong. I enjoyed spending time with you, Tashi. Me too, eh? I really mean it, you know? A blush and gives me a like hug. Thanks, Tashi. I'll see you at school tomorrow then. Wait, A. A turns around, still with that same smile on her face. Is anything wrong? I noticed it. It's not something you learn to pick up of that way, but because it's A, I saw it. The smile on her face has dropped slightly, only for a split second, but enough for me to notice. No, everything's fine. Her voice has changed, as if trying to sound too upbeat. You're terrible at lying, eh? I don't want to go too, in too into it there. It would ruin such a good day, though is it really good if A is still hurting inside? Okay, I'll see you at school then, eh? I smile at her in the hope that she can tell I'm here for I'm there for her. If anything is wrong, I'm bound to find out about it soon, one way or another. The smell of food hits my, hits my nostrils as I walk down the stairs. It's a rare moment like these I enjoy since my parents are heavy workers, I hardly get to see them. Sit down, Tashi, dinner's ready. I sit down on the dining table and tuck into dinner. It's nothing special, but enjoyable nonetheless. So, Tashi, how are things with A? Good, actually. I've started dating her recently. I've never had the time to tell my parents about my newfound relationship with A, either because they were busy or out of the house. I'm glad to hear. The girl was in tears at the hospital. I bet she's glad you're getting along now. We should have some old photos in the attic. Shame there's no recent ones. Getting along? No recent ones? I finish the rest of my dinner and begin heading up to my room. You should go get him. I think A would be glad to see them. I enter my room and sit down at my desk. The thought of these photos doesn't escape my mind. I guess I should at least have a look at them. I pull down a box from the attic and rest it on my bed. Inside are various photos of our family, but I eventually find some with me and A. I look at each photo in individually and try to recall the events of the time in my head. I manage to remember a few things about my childhood. All sorts of things are shown here after all Hollywood days, festivals, even school plays. Some things odd though, I can't find any recent ones, just like my mother said. The last photos are from the middle school, from what I can tell. Odd. I put the photos back in the box and set it aside. I'm glad you're finally speaking to one another again. Somehow my mother had entered my room without me noticing. We, we didn't speak? Not for a while. My mother leaves the room, seemingly forgetting the fact that I have no clue about what she just told me. Why did she even come here in the f anyway? I lie down on my bed, looks like I have to figure out things again. And I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> so that was our date. <laughs> yes, that was our date. So that was for that. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it here and thank you so much for watching please enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll be off now and we'll see what's what we're ready for the next time goodbye